Hey, everybody, and welcome to Hey Man. I am Josh. I am Jacob. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's going on with you? No, not much. Just, uh, well, you got really excited real quick. What oh, happened? What the happened? one thing I wanted, because we talk about what we want to talk about. Did you forget something? Pre. No, yeah, I forgot something I wanted to mention to you. Also, we didn't drive over here together today. So we didn't do that. But we're going to do it live next time. Okay. You know what? A couple people reached out to me and said after last week's episode. What? We missed Jacob saying do something good for someone today. Oh, you know, I have stopped saying that. I forgot about that. I will bring that back. I will make sure I say that at the end of every episode. I, I, mean, I, I always make sure I'm doing our sign offs because... Oh, well, I know today you came from the gym, so I know energy is going to be high for about 20 minutes and then you might crash. Um, yo, dude, <laughs> can I just tell you for real at my age how good Pilates is? That's great. Have I told you how good it is? I you have. say it every week. On here? Nope, just to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just to me. Yo, dude, legit, it's the best. If, if there's, and I would say anybody over the age of 40, if you can, you should be, and you can, cause you can get, do Matt Pilates off of YouTube. Right. You should be working this into your routine. routine. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely should. And I've had more and more people recently asking me about health, what I eat, how I work out. And, um, I look, I, I, I will say this. People ask like it's a secret. It's not pretty simple, everybody. Yeah. It's it's the same thing everybody else is going to tell you. Mm -hmm. Cut down on the sugar. Cut down on the carbs. Yep. Increase the protein. I would say increase the fat. Exercise and exercise. Yeah. It's not like a. It's not. It's not a crazy equation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I it's, it's less about what you're supposed to do. And more about what you're willing to do, and, and yeah. to 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 balance out your expectations with reality, and That's, just be like, yo, it's gonna take some time. It's the, not something that happens overnight. It, the other thing I will say that I found out, ready, and then we can move on to some funnier stuff. That some people who have are like, I work out and I eat well, and I'm still. There are environmental toxins that when you inhale them, they turn into estrogen in your body. So no matter how much you work out or how well you're eating it, like as a dude, it, if you have too much estrogen, you just have too much estrogen. Right. And so I, I found that out. I've been, you know, I've been, I don't listen to music anymore. I just listen to information. Yeah. It's annoying to you because I just regurgitated it to you all day. Yep. <laughs> uh, a, a lot of a lot of people listening, as well as me, yeah, probably lost track of thought in the last minute or two. Of I that. don't think so. I kept it pretty concise. That's what you think. I didn't keep that concise. How long was that? That was what two minutes, three minutes, three and a half minutes, five minutes. By the way, if it was three and a half minutes, it was three minutes too long. Uh, what? <laughs> Now, I was listening. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but, but I also hear that from you all the time. But why don't? Why don't you take it? Why don't you? I do take it. Why don't you? I take it. Why don't you do I it? I just don't use it. How come you don't do it? Because I'm an adult and I can make my own choices. Yeah, but if I told you that just taking this pill makes you healthy, well, you wouldn't take it. I would, but that's not the case, is it? Well, it is. I mean, if you think of is food it? as a pill, a pill. Yeah, I mean, not really. Yeah. There, because there's, I don't know, like if it was just like take this pill and you'll be healthy, I'd be like, yeah, absolutely, because that's, that's, that's it. But it's not that. Yeah, but it is kind of. Not really. The pill is just bigger, and you have to chew it, and it comes in a meal form. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I do that every day, though. Yeah, but not in the correct way. Yeah. Well, I mean, that may be true. It just baffles me that none of my kids, because you know I'm a bit of a psycho. Maybe Can I, that's why. It is why we were controlled, not controlled, not but controlled, not controlled, but there was a, Yo, there was a candy drawer in our house, bro. Yeah. But there were, there was a lot of things 
we couldn't go buy that you wouldn't buy for the house in the grocery store. Like what? And by the way, that candy, don't say there was a candy drawer like you replenished the candy all the time. You guys replenished your black licorice and dark chocolate, but the candy that was in there was our leftover Halloween candy from the year before. So don't act <laughs> like it was some fucking special thing that you guys it made. Was, it ended up just being all almond joys and mounds. Exactly. So like <laughs> shit, it didn't it wasn't a special thing. That's not true. But, you but, remember but, when you Skittles know, used to send me backpacks of Skittles? Yeah, and then and then guess who ate all of the Skittles? Me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And guess who just got the backpack? You. Me, which was great. I don't know where it is anymore, if I got to be honest. <laughs> cool Skittles backpack. Yeah. But also there were certain flavors of Skittles you didn't eat. You only ate the regular Skittles. So every time I went back, all there was left was the blue and the purple pack. And I didn't want those. I wanted the regular ones. But wait a second. Let's get back. to. Let's get back. Let's get back. You think me being a psycho is I, why none of three of you uh, either work out or eat well? Well, Trev, I can't say anything for because he didn't. He wasn't with us. He much. didn't live with us. Right, right. And also he was in the army. So I, I don't know. That might also be something very strict that he came yeah. out of and was like, I, I don't want to do that. Right. For me and Caitlin probably as well, whenever we were in the house, like there was never any soda allowed in the house. Right. There was never any sugar, sugar, sugar. sugar cereal, right. like fruit snacks, fruit roll-ups, any of the things that you could think of that I would want one of like in a, in a, but in there my was lunch dessert school. in the house. There was ice cream and shit. We got we we made sure there was dessert after dinner. Not every time. There was always dessert in the house. Yeah, but I couldn't just go into this pantry and just grab a thing of fruit snacks if I wanted, and that was no, it. That was but reserved like, for a certain time. Right. And guess what? Right when I moved out, that's what I did. I bought all the things that I wasn't allowed to have in the house growing up, and I stocked my place with it. Okay. How about this? Because okay. because so, of the fact that I just I, it you know so, it's like our thing where it's like. Strict parents create sneaky kids, right? Yes. We had freedom for everything, except the food that we could have in the house. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. when I moved out, that, I went that. straight for that. I'll take that. And it's not but, a bad thing, because look, we still ate great. Like, we still had good things in the house and yeah. stuff that tasted good. And you're right, there was dessert and that candy drawer. But again, Halloween candy gets stale after a certain amount of time. Yeah, so we only... had some Halloween candy from the early 2000s. But, yeah, because here's the thing also, we never cleaned it out. We just refilled it yeah, every year. Yeah. So there was, yeah, there was, there was candy okay. in that drawer from a you long time ago. You are an athlete. Why, what's, why not, why aren't you, why, why aren't you, and this, I, I don't, this, I'm not saying you need to look. Why are you certain, bouncing your pecs while you talk? Uh, just, I'm, I'm just looking at your face, but I'm just <laughs> watching you bounce your pecs while you talk. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I know you would just went to the gym and you're feeling a little legs good. Today. I, legs I know you're feeling a little good, yeah. but you're going to tire yourself out if you do that for the whole podcast. I was just, by the way, your arm things are also up again. If you want them. My arm things. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so let me, add, but, but why but I, as an athlete, right. That's fine. I, I was an athlete. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I still consider myself an athlete. What is happening over and here? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> you might be a little high up so it doesn't go under the... There you go. Better? Yeah. yeah. I don't like being this low, though. Uh, that doesn't look good on camera either. I'm going to... That looks better. Good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I've, I've been an athlete my whole life. Yes. But I also... I am not right now in Vegas. It is 100 and whatever outside. Yeah. So... Also, I mean, I could go play indoor basketball somewhere, but or, or I, yeah, you can I, just go work out. That too, also. But right now, I am just not heavily in that phase. So right now, I'm in a phase of yeah, but it's so good for you. Yeah, absolutely, it is, and I will absolutely get to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll say on that. Note. Yeah, I mean, listen, dude, this is all I can tell you. I, I just I look at my mom and dad, and da Grandpa turned eighty seven. Right. You called him? I called him. Okay. And he's in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. And I just look at, I just know quality of life. You know, right. I just, I just know quality of life. And I know your, your body, the longer you go without your body moving. Right. Like as long as you're doing it a lot when you're younger, your, your body jumps back into it. Right. But it's like, you have to train it retrain it how to do it the longer you take off yeah i also think maybe it's part of me that like i, I was an athlete my whole entire life growing yes. up yes you were through high school yep uh, like if i look at it my last my senior year i played three sports yep two of them weren't even teams before i got to that school yep uh, in my other high school i ran track all three years uh or two years before i left did, I, did, I played football i played year-round baseball growing up basketball flag football like I think, I think more also it's like 
I think I just wanted a break for a couple of years. Yeah. I think I've just been going so hard and so fast, my like gr- all the way up until 21. Cause like, look, when I was in LA, I was still playing in men's leagues. Like every yeah, other that's true. every other every other season, I would hop in a men's league and go play once a week. But sometimes games were on Sundays, and I missed a lot of those leagues because we'd be flying back in, and I that, that was just the part of it. But I also think like I got hurt a lot, not like hurt hurt, but like yeah. But what about the, just the gym, gym? Absolutely, I'm not lying. I should be going to the gym. By the way, but also I think it's just part of me is like I just want to chill out. Do you know I was thinking about this? You're so much better of an athlete than I was. I played a lot of sports. The only thing in any sport that I did better than you is hit a baseball. Yeah, without a doubt, hands down, w- w- without a doubt. A- and it's just what it was just the one thing I just I, it's just confidence. Thing. I would have guessed going in that it would have been hitting a baseball and tracking down a ball in the outfield, but it turns out you were better. Than that. Um, look, man, I, you were better. I, than I held that down the mound and I held down the Dude, outfield. Phenomenal. Those are my two. Phenomenal, those are my yeah. two favorite places to be. I wanted to be the coach. I wanted to be captain of the outfield and center field. And I wanted to be captain on the infield on the mound. Have we told the story on here about you being the bad boy for teams? Probably not, but, but, but hold on. I got some, I got some. Okay. I got some things. Okay. I we'll get about. back to it, but just pin, pin in it. Jacob was a bat boy for the Red Sox, the Cardinals. Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks. I thought Justin Upton was going to kill me that day. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> but amazing. And we have some great pictures. Maybe we'll post Who else? Oh, were- Abe. And the email is heymanpod, no exclamation point. With heymanpod with three A's and three A's. at gmail.com. Guys, heymanpod, three A's at gmail.com. Heymanpod, three A's at gmail.com. We're going to start answering your questions. Mm-hmm. So send them in so, so we in. can... And you can ask us anything. Yep. Um, so feel free to send them in. Comedian, by the way, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. Uh, and Mo- ticket links. And ticket links. Des Moines, Idaho. Idaho? Idaho. Idaho. It's a combination of Idaho. Idaho and, and, yeah. yeah, Idaho and Idaho. Idaho sounds like a character like, in Star Wars. It sounds like Ottawa. Kind of. Just uh, oh, with an I. Isn't there something in Star uh, Wars called like an Idaho? Idaho? I do Idaho? Ido- e- Ewok? No, like Adwa. <laughs> I just said it again. <laughs> it's the definition of madness. He just says the same thing over and over and over again until hopefully one of the times I'm like, you know what? That's right, actually. But it's never right. Do you know what it is? I just keep hoping for something different to come out. <laughs> And your brain is stuck on one singular thing. And you're like, you're because you want part of your brain is like, I want to say something different because I know that's right, not right. I the just, other part of your brain is like, it's right, motherfucker. Keep saying the same thing. I just keep expecting something else to come out and it doesn't. I do up. No. That time you just said Odawa. No. Isn't there something like a young Odawa? Ottawa? Well, this Padawan? Pat's the one. <laughs> <laughs> He had nothing to say to you. Let's move on. <laughs> so, John, comedian Josh will talk cover toy dates and tickets. We're going to Josh will comedy on all platforms. We're going to be in Des Moines, Des Moines Iowa. Iowa. When you guys hear this, um, we're also. Oh, no, be- when you hear this, we will be in Des Moines, Iowa the next yep. week. And then the end of the month, we're in uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey. Oh, is that the last weekend? Cannot wait. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. And the beginning of August, we're Pittsburgh. We're Erie, Pennsylvania. Then we're one night only in Nashville on August 6th. Pittsburgh. You guys know what the deal is. And if you're in Vegas on Mondays, yo, those shows have been crazy. They've been so good. You have a lot of fun? Yeah, we've been good. selling a bunch of tickets down there. Good. So Kimmelscomedyclub.com. If you're in Vegas on a Monday night, come out to the show. Um, and there's some big things coming up for Jacob and I. Uh, let, we need to name the UK European tour today by the end of the day. So we'll discuss it on the podcast. But you go first. What you want to talk okay. about? Okay. Okay. I'll start thinking about that. Um, so Iman and I, what? What? And Jeez. thank you all so much. The number of people that are subscribing... That means you guys, because it's not like we're on doing a bunch of podcasts. Right. That means you guys are spreading the word. And so thank you so much. The comments on mm-hmm. iTunes are great. Uh, the ratings are great. Please continue to, to download and rate and subscribe. Um, it helps us a tremendous amount. But thank you all so much 
for enjoying the show as much as we enjoy doing it. Go yeah. ahead. Um, so Amon and I went shopping mm, probably Sunday or Monday, and we were out at Target. And look, I, I see a lot of interesting things when I'm out at the supermarket. This one just happened to take the cake for the day, and it was good enough for me to write down. So there was an older woman, uh, I'd say probably between 70 and 80, and she was driving one of those automatic carts, right? Segway? No, not the... It's not a Segway. It's a Segway cart. is the thing you stand up in? Yeah, it's the two-wheel one. The Segway is the two-wheel one. Yeah, it's the one with the, the thing in the middle and you lean forward and back. Yeah, so the what are those things? In the, uh, uh, it's an uh, electronic cart. Rascals. Is that what it's called? Yeah, they're called Rascals. Okay. Google it. You Google it. You Google it. You Google it. You Google it. Anyway. I'll um, Google it. So she was driving apparently a Rascal um, and it had the cart attached to the front of it, right? And she's driving around and she's... Hitting a lot of things. No. Hitting a lot of things. Running the cart into it. Trying How to, old is she? Betw- between 70 and 80. Okay. <laughs> Will you li- yeah, yeah I, I said it at the top. And so she is like hitting things with the front of her cart and the, t- the front of it. And she's also taking like too tight of turns and like hitting the wheels on like a lot of different stuff. And we were got behind her. And at one point she gets to a, 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 a lane and then she stops or an aisle and she stops and goes in reverse. And it's just beeping so loud, but she can't back up very fast because they go faster. Rascal scooter. Okay. Is that what no, it no, is? no. It was one of the ones you get at Target. So oh, it's like yeah. an upgraded Rascal. Rascal. Yeah. Um, And she's backing up and it's got that crazy like beep, beep when she backs. So it's like beep, beep. It's so loud. And she's backing up. I mean, backing up slower than a snail could go. It was amazing. And it, she was backing up for like... Was she looking over her shoulder? No, she was blind backing up for like a good 30 seconds. At that point, she was like, hey, if anybody's behind me, you shouldn't move. Yeah. And we were. And so we went around her and then she finally takes a turn and she hits another corner and I look into her cart and I go, God, hard candy, original Werther's and a giant bottle of Smirnoff. Is a, that what she was, had? In her cart. And Amon looks at me and goes, is she fucking drunk driving right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to yo, be that age and I can she, just do that. I was I walked away and I was like, yo, that was that was amazing. Amal was like, no wonder she's hitting everything. Like <laughs> she's yeah, dude. blaster. By the way, I'm not gonna awesome. lie to you. Let's let's hypothesize a little bit. I, in my brain, those two purchases are one of two things is happening. Excuse me. Either you're putting the Werther's candy in the vodka. Nope. Okay, just let me finish before you. Sounds cool. An eighty? You think an eighty-year-old woman's doing this to give the vodka a better scotchy taste? Okay. If those are the only two things, or she is gonna fucking just raw dog that vodka and then throw a butterscotch in her mouth to try to kill the the smell, just in case she gets pulled over on her Segway <laughs> scooter. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I was thinking about it, and in all honesty, I think she looked. In her liquor cabinet and was like, nah, I'm out of vodka. I should probably go to the store. And she gets to the store and she's just driving around hammered in that cart. And she goes, hmm, that sounds kind of good. Yeah. And she, I just picture going back to her apartment and her having just that bottle of, of, of that vodka and just 70 full bags of Werther's Originals. Because every time she goes to the store, she thinks she's out or she, that would be good. But what? she buys a new bag every time she goes. Let me ask you a question. And I think that's hilarious <laughs> because... There are, is there an item in your house? So if I don't write a list down, mm-hmm. there are a few items that I'll always walk by and go, do I have that? Yeah. 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 Are there a few items that you, that, that you end up always, you're like, oh, I got four of these fucking things. In the house. <laughs> um, well, we buy, we buy a lot of milk on purpose because uh-huh. her and I, Amon and I really like milk and she has a specific brand of milk that she likes. Yeah. But so we usually have no joke, like two to three of them in the fridge at all times also Mm -hmm. because they don't go bad for like four months yeah so we can just kind of stock it okay um the last month she had me making her that like spicy creamy uh vegan ramen broth yeah so uh, every time i went to the store to buy more supplies i was like do we need more vegetable broth she goes yeah i think so and i went back and i went to go put it in the pantry and there were six of them and i was like what the (laughs) i was like what the fuck man she goes, oh, I was looking in the fridge for the ones. I go, yeah, but I've been putting them in the pantry. <laughs> so <laughs> we don't need any more. We have like four more left. So I got to use them. For me, it's olives. Oh, and eggs. Oh, yeah. No, I know. I always, I always buy eggs thinking my eggs are bad. 
and then going back home and the eggs aren't bad. I, I know how much eggs I have because I eat six eggs every morning. So I know exactly. You eat six eggs? Every morning. Actually? Yeah. How many eggs do you buy at a time, at a time when you go to the grocery store? Uh, 18. So that goes for, that gets you good for three days. Three days. Well, it depends if your mom's having any, but I probably usually, usually she doesn't. So maximum three days. Max three days. Sometimes So do you go two. to the grocery store every three days for eggs? Yeah, easy. Why don't, you, why, why don't you just buy a crap ton of them? Well, I I did. Because they're so expensive. I, yeah. I, that's, Especially at Whole Foods. You shop at Whole Foods. That shit's expensive. You know what, though? You know what's crazy? Is that it's not that much more expensive than other places anymore. Is it? This is how I know. Like, this, uh, this is my hot take. I mean, it is more expensive than, like... This is how I, I know. guess accumulatively. We just don't buy. Here's the reason why I don't feel it's at that. Much. I'm not shopping with three kids. It's just my, your mom and I. Right, right, right. But three bags of groceries at Whole Foods compared to three bags of groceries at Trader Joe's. Sure. Yep. Or at Ralph's. Yeah. Or sure. at Albertsons. Yep. Is a difference. Yes. For that By note. the way, that's like for me and looking at it, like that's how I know. Because you guys always used to shop at Whole Foods. But that's how I know things are, things are going up is because you've kicked Trader Joe's to the curb and now you're only shopping at Whole Foods. I don't even know where Trader Joe's is here. That's my point. That's, <laughs> yeah. how, that's how I know. Because like, I love the tip speech you do on the weekends. Yeah. And you're like, because I'm now one of those people, right? Like where an extra couple of bucks isn't that much to you. Yeah. That's how I also know you're one of those people now is because you shop at only Whole Foods. Are you calling me one of those Whole Foods people? A hundred percent. If you're going to Whole Foods every three days just to buy eggs. Yeah. But here's the thing. You go in for just eggs, but you buy how many other things? I like... You know what I was in the parking lot eating? How many times? Yeah, you told me an avocado. I was eating an avocado. Which, by the way, is delicious, though. And so I, I can't was bag on it. dipping sugar-free beef, grass-fed beef jerky into butter. What are you, a caveman? I was just in there. In you're like a legit, <laughs> you're like a legit caveman. Like, like, re, would, like right on. You're, I, you're a modern day caveman. I honestly, you're like the like, Geico, you're like the Geico caveman who lives in modern day life. <laughs> And is just so out of date. I was hoping that you were going to pull up and then I saw your car. Oh, I beat you and here. And just see me scooping butter because I had the spreadable. Scooping butter onto beef jerky and putting it on an avocado and just putting it you in my mouth. You are a Neanderthal. What the hell? But you, okay, you know what I'm amazed I haven't seen you do yet? There was a huge trend um, of people going to Air One, that place in LA that you love. Cheers. By the way, if you don't know what Air One is, Air One is... Arguably the not arguably, I think the most expensive Without grocery that. store I've ever been Bro. to, uh, ever ever. It like, do you, you know were, how much a organic rotisserie chicken is there? It's like twenty five bucks. Yeah, yeah. When I I remember my I, I, I know organic I, rotisserie a row chicken is twenty five dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. So I remember their little bottled drinks they made in store were like thirteen. Yeah, remember how, remember you always make me walk down there and get celery juice, but yeah. you could have just made it home. With, with what? Get a juicer. You would have saved a thousand dollars a month for you not going and buying those celery juices and just making them at home. Yeah, you have no argument for that. I don't. Except you just didn't want to do it. I, I, this is the exact argument. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just, you know what it was is that I, it was quarantine. Yep. And I was just going for easy and simple. Yeah. And Easy and simple costs way more than it, yo, dude. That Air One is legit. Yeah, but so the there, most expensive yeah, place, hundred percent. Yeah. But so there was a trend there where people were going. Air One started making fried chicharron, so it was just a whole just of of pork fried, and people were going and buying their avocado and then just dipping it straight in. And, Delicious. And I thought for sure I would see you on that, and I still haven't seen you on that wave. Well, we don't have Air One here, right? But I bet you you can find fried chicharron. Uh, I. I, I have to tell you, my favorite thing at Erewhon were those desserts. They made they sold, those vegan desserts were crazy. Uh, yo, there, those vegan desserts were crazy. Those keto bombs. bars. No, the keto bars. Are you like? Oh, we ate the shit out of those. I still every sometimes I see them now, and I'm like, yeah, I'll take a couple of those. Like they're so. Oh my god, they're we so the, good. We ate the shit out of yeah, those. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you have I, a chance, go to Erewhon. Don't buy anything <laughs> other than their desserts. However, two small little donuts will cost you about it's nine dollars. Like Eight thousand dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, the woman. So did you? Did she have anything else in her cart besides vodka and Werther's? They were the only two things that stood out to me. There was like two or three other things in there, but like they were small. It would be items. amazing if it was vodka, Werther's, a wrench, and duct tape, and you'd be like, "What the fuck is Facts. she doing?" Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It made me laugh though. But have you seen? What are like the weirdest things you've seen at a grocery store? Oh, dude, because there's so many. Like I, I've seen lots of things. Come on, 
I, 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 too many. We lived in Los Angeles. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Too many. You got to narrow down weird. No, but give me like a couple, like one of your most memorable things that you've seen. In one the of my store. all-time favorite was at a place called Rock and Roll Ralph's, which was right near <laughs> Rock and Roll. Was Ralph's. it an off-brand? Oh no, his name was Ralph. No, it, wasn't, Ra- it was Ralph's, which is a grocery store in LA, but it was called Rock and Roll Ralph's because it was the one on Sunset before the Guitar Center, near the luxury apartments, right past La Brea, uh, in between La Brea and Fairfax. There's a Ralph's, right? There is? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not talking about the you're not talking about the one uh like near Santa Monica and La Cienega? No, no, no. It's on Sunset. Sunset and you know, in between La Brea and Fairfax. Okay. 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 It's called Rock and Roll Ralphs, I think, because back in the day, you know, all the rock and rollers lived around there. Oh, and God, that was the Ralphs. Right, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. That's That's cool. the parking lot where, that I used to put you guys in the trunk in. Oh, drive around at night. Yeah. Nice, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. Um, that's the, that's also the Ralph's where I, every day we would get one meal a day there that we didn't pay for. I would bring you guys to the hot food section and we, you guys would order whatever you wanted. And then we, I would just walk you around the store in the cart until you finish your food. I would leave the cart at the other end of the store and we would walk out. And Trevor asked me one day, he goes, are we stealing? And I said, do you have anything in your pockets? And he said, no. I said, we're good. That's hilarious. Yeah. We, we, and the. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, the hot food ladies, they had caught on at a point in time. And honestly, they knew. I mean, they still printed the price they and all that because they had to. But um, they they understood that I wasn't paying for that. And, and, nice and, of them, though. Nice of them to let that slide. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm sure every day somebody found empty containers. I just, I I got to a point where I was like, all right, I don't, I'm, I, I don't want to be a thief. But I know this hot food costs them probably total not that much. Five dollars, yeah, six dollars. Yeah. And but it would cost me total twenty. And I just didn't have it. Yeah. And, and you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I was at that rock and roll rounds, and maybe I'll, I'll tell you it's my favorite thing I've ever seen. Okay. A dude straight up. Just when I say shoving things in his pants and jacket to where when he was getting ready to walk out, he looked like the marshmallow man. That's so funny. He, and he was, because he had all this plastic plastic in him. And the security guard stops him and goes, hey. The guy was like, yeah, just completely. Like nothing. He goes, yeah. He was like, what's, um. What's under your jacket? The guy was like, nothing. He's like, you don't have anything? And he told him, he goes, no, I got a gland problem. And the guy was like, what? He goes, yeah, I got a gland. I got a gland problem. So sometimes I swell up. The guy was like, but just from nothing in the face or neck, just from the, and all over the body, but it's kind of lumpy, you know? And how come you're making that noise? And the guy was like, well, listen, did you, are you going to call me out of my gland problem? Because I don't think you're allowed to do that. And the guy was like, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to say not a gland problem. I'm going to say you have $500 worth of shit. So the funniest thing was seeing this dude try to run. When he couldn't move. With all this stuff. And as he was trying to run, he just started shedding things. Bacon, hamburger, potato chips. and Things were just flying out. He thought the security guard was going to chase the stuff. He did No. No, no, no. no. The stuff isn't what matters. Yeah, yeah. No, he got the guy. Yeah. Of course he did. That was my favorite. He probably didn't get very far. No. And he ran back into the store because he couldn't run out. He couldn't run past the security guy. So he was shedding stuff as he went. He was trying to juke him in the store? Yo, dude. But I mean, he left a trail. The supreme confidence to be like, the guy be like, stop right here. And the guy be like, what's up? Yeah. This, uh, I was like, a lot, that, lot of balls. That was your move? Yeah, the, a lot of balls. The wasn't me defense? Yeah. So maybe that was my favorite. I love that. Yeah. What about you? I don't know. Like, you're right. Living in LA, like, it's just a lot of... Also, just a lot of homeless encounters. Yeah, you're taking. Let's take homeless. Let's take human feces off the table. No, oh yeah, no, no, nothing. I haven't experienced that. You haven't? Nope. Oh, for sure. I've experienced watching a uh, a a person of the transient community shit on a bus stop. You could say homeless person. Yeah, I know. Okay, you could say both. Yeah, you can. But so, uh, but yeah, I've I've seen a lot of that. But I don't know what the weirdest thing at a grocery store. <sighs> trying to. Think. I mean, you asked me the question. Well, yeah, because I saw something weird at the grocery oh, store. Oh, got it, got it, got That's it. why I wanted to ask you got what it, weird it, things it, you it, had seen it, at the grocery it. store. I prepped myself. 
That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I mean, I mentally prepped. Yeah. No, you. No, no. I'm saying I, I had like I had prepped the follow up question oh, for what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Because I had the experience. I love that you're writing things down, dude, and you have follow up questions, and it's like, yeah, I, I, it's uh, I don't know. I'm trying to make sure we have shit to talk about. So, well, you you're coming in, dude, prepared, very, because I've been very unprepared for the last year or so that we've been trying to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to. What's be, the switch? What's the switch? I don't know. I I I think I said while we were on the road last time, last week, that I'm finding myself the most driven I've ever been in my career because I'm, for the first time, really enjoying what I'm doing. Yeah. Like purpose is what we talked about last yeah, week. Yeah. Right? Which part are you enjoying? The whole thing? Just, it's something different. I was doing the same thing for so long. Yeah. You know? And I think having a nice change of pace and seeing a different side of the world that I was still living in or like that I was working in, right? Because I was working in TV production and stuff like that. So I was working behind the camera opposed to was in, in front of it. So it, I'm not on TV sets or anything like that, but I'm still on that other side. Yeah. Right. And it's not something I ever thought I'd really enjoy or want to pursue because of how scared I am or was of standing in front of people or trying to be myself or anything like that. So I, I think now that I'm discovering a new fond... Uh, uh, purpose. Yeah. That is, it's giving me a different sense of drive. You know, I'll tell you the, the good thing about this. What are you kicking? I'm hooked. The good thing about <laughs> this job is that it is different every time you do it. Not just a podcast job, but, you know, being on stage and li doing live things, that variable of not, not, it never, yeah, being perfect because it's live mm -hmm. and who knows what's going to happen. And maybe I'm the, the wild card is the other people. Right. You know what I mean? And so I, I, that's what I really love about it. Dude, I went and saw carrot top last night. How was that? I'm going to tell you right now, fucking phenomenal. Okay. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting him to do props for an hour and that's what I would have expected. Nope. No, he opens with props. Great. He does stand up. Like I like not prop stand up, like actual stand up. It's a different style of stand up. Okay. But he tells stories, man. Does he leave that trunk on stage or does he He's take it got off? He's trunks. But does he does he leave it on stage yep. when he does the stand up? Cuz yep. does he drop jump back to it every now and then or does it just uh, sit there? there's like six trunks. He has six trunks on stage? Yeah, man. Whoa. Yeah. Dude, he is for anybody who has been, he like, is a one of a kind. Yo, he's so good at what he does. Nobody's even tried to do Zero it. Zero people have tried to do it. hundred percent. I'll tell you something else. hundred percent true. His his road to success. They were comedy clubs that wouldn't let him do it. That's crazy. Up. Yo, dude, he's so funny, and he perf in his stand up, he does a certain style that is so hard to do. Right. Spade does a lot of it. His stand up is. Uh, uh, stylistically is close to spades. Right. It's super conversational, but he throws away that uh, those under the breath jokes. Yeah. He's a the, the throwaway punchline. Genius it. at yeah. it. I, I, I cannot re left I, nostril. Left nostril. It's small. I don't think you can even see it on screen, but I can see it. So I, I don't know if they can see it. I just want to make sure you're good. I, um, by the way, oh, we'll talk about that in a second. I have something yeah. to digress to on that. But dude, yo, if you're in Vegas, and it's not Monday night and you're coming to see me. Yeah. <laughs> this dude. And he's, he, he pushes the envelope with his jokes, dude. The, Does he, he? Oh my God. Nice. Okay. He, he says some shit where I'm like, wowzers, not what I was expecting. Okay. I didn't for that. Cause I always thought he was kind of a clean comic because of the props. Nope. Oh, and great dude, his stories and the people who have come to see his shows and he's been, he's had a residency for 17 fucking years. And does he still, he still sells out. Every it was Tuesday night, dude, that place was sold the fuck out. 17 years is uh, astounding. I'm, and I asked and him, sold I, out for 17 straight fucking years. I said, how many, how many times he roll over the act? And he goes, man, I don't really, he said, I'm always trying new things. So it's not like I do an hour and then get rid of it and do another hour. But then every so often I'll look back and go, oh, this is completely different than the hour I was doing six months ago. 
or whatever because he's constantly moving, bringing things in and out. He's got a warehouse full of props. Love it. Has to, I would assume. Warehouse. I would assume. Yo, dude, I was so fucking impressed. That's awesome. Did you see my arm? Ooh, tendonitis is bad. <laughs> I'm getting some PRP. But so some what? PRT. PRP. Placement. P -p -p placento? No, not placento. PRP. Plus, pl something. Placenta. Not placenta. No. But it's definitely not placenta. Placement. Plac replacement. Therapy? Yeah, that would be T. That's what I thought it was going to be, too. Wait, what was the other one? What was it? PRP. Oh, PRP. Placement. Replacement. Placement? Platelet. Platelet. Replacement. Plerapy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Play placement? No. Nope. Play no. Nope. Platelet replacement positioning. Ooh. Okay, hold on. I'm pointer finger. Go Google it. Pontiac. I'm Give me a go Google it. Pig. Google it. <laughs> All right. Posterior. No, not posterior. Platelet replacement promotion. That's not it. Platelet replacement. Did you got it? That the second word isn't right. It's not replacement? No. Is it platelet? Yes. Platelet replenish. Nope. Platelet regenerate. No. Pla is it re? Nope. It's re. Platelet ridiculous and platelet rich. Oh, platelet rich plasma. There you go. Fuki fiki. Nailed that. That's what I'm getting. Yep. Celtics just officially signed Porzingis. I just got the update. Oh, thank God. Two years, 60 million. I don't know if that's the... Is that the right number for him? Yeah. Let me ask you something, dude. <laughs> 60, you, you, get, you get 60 million on your plate tomorrow. What are you doing? Property. Are we still doing the podcast? Absolutely. But okay. we're going on a vacation and doing the podcast internationally somewhere. Because with 60 million... No, not, not all the time. But oh, if, okay. if, if $60 million showed up in my bank account tomorrow, I am planning to go somewhere. We're going like we're going on a vacation. Like I, I'm, I'm dipping for a month. Do you know what I think is fucked up? I'm dipping for a month. Have you ever heard of like the, somebody putting the like money in your account and you're like, holy shit, there's forty thousand dollars in my account that I didn't know was there, and they, it was like a mistake. I think you should be able to keep that. Like once it's your yeah, in then, your account, yeah, I, I think it's legally mine. I think it's mine, and then it, I, I, and then I think the bank should eat that, yeah. and give it back to the other person. Yeah, and if it shows up in my account and I spend it, that was in my account, my money, my money, my money, my property. Yeah, why? And, and then it's not legal for you to dip into my account. Absolutely not. But I think the I think the bank should eat that shit. Fuck yeah, hundred percent. I agree with that, hundred percent. A hundred percent. I yeah yeah yeah. I yeah. had money show up in my account before. Really? Yeah, I have it. I remember saying to your mom, he was like, and this is, it wasn't a, a ton of money, but this is back when we had zero money. Mm -hmm. I'm like, there's like $14,000 extra in our account. She was By like, the way, that's, uh, that's still a lot of money. To me, that's a lot of money. Yeah, and you know who could really use 14 grand right now? Yeah, Fucking dude. this guy. Like, that shit. Is, that it is, when you get older, look, it's not a little amount of money. But you realize that it's not a life changing not amount even close. of money. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Look, fourteen grand right now. If I didn't touch it and only used it for rent, would be gone in fourteen months, which would be awesome. Right. It's Dude. probably what I would do. I That's would probably amazing. just pay the rest of my rent. And I back when we got this fourteen thousand, that you know that would have taken care of probably three and a half months. Of what we needed to live. Mm -hmm. That's a that's substantial. That's a lot. Right. That is not fourteen thousand. Does not do that for us now. Right. But also, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I, this is not me a bragging or I'm. We are not rich, but we are just not in a, better better off than where. Yeah, you we're just not in a place where fourteen thousand. Right. But back then. But you'd still be happy about fourteen thousand. Dude, if I found fourteen thousand in my bank account right now, uh extra, I would spend that. In post haste, we're going to a shoe store, find some grails. Fuck yeah, we would. That's what I like. Like also, sixty million showed up in my bank account. I'm going and buying all of my holy grail shoes immediately. Probably spend like how much you spend? Would you be no you, joke? Easily, if you gave me any amount of money to go into a shoe store right yeah. now, I could easily spend a hundred grand. I could spend a hundred grand on three pairs of shoes. Dior's. Oh, Dior. Look, 
Are we? What's the budget? Where am I? What? Hundred grand. Hundred grand. Definitely, I'm going Dior. The white fluffy ones. Fluffy ones. Oh, what? the the other Grateful Dead ones. Yeah. So I'm going Dior high, Dior low. So both of those together because there's Jordan one high and yeah. a low top. The high top is fifteen grand. The low top's like between eight and ten. So let's just say nine for right now. So right there, I'm only already at twenty four. I'm already a quarter of the way there. Yeah. I would buy probably. Travis Scott shoes, I would do his lows, which are fifteen hundred, his other lows, which are fifteen hundred, his other lows, which are twelve hundred. Yeah. His highs. We're not near a hundred grand right now. Nah, but I'm just about to touch thirty. Okay. I would do his high tops, which are twenty five. Um, I would go I would go off white crazy. I would do the white off white lows, uh Air Force One lows. Ten grand. You sound like that dude in the Forrest black Gump ones. listing shrimp. Uh, you asked me what I would yeah. get. I, <laughs> look, I could go on as my I, point. I like Cajun shrimp. I like barbecue shrimp. Uh, yeah, but like I, I could, I could spend a hundred grand in the shoe store. Easy. Did I? By the way, speaking to Forrest Gump, did I tell you? Was were we in here last week, pre or post Indiana Jones? Pre. I hadn't seen it yet. No. Yo, dude, can we talk about this? You, yeah, I, I'm not gonna go see the theaters now. I'm gonna wait for it to come out on Disney Plus because of specifically what you said. You know, they should have named that show, that movie, Indiana Jones: Old Dudes Can't Run. <laughs> it was the most disappointing. Look, man, you're asking. He also is like 70 years old. Older, dude. He's 80. Is he 80? He's gotta be Jeez. 80. Star Wars came out in 75. That is. 40, almost 50 years ago, right? That's 47 years ago, 48 years ago. 80 on the dot. This dude, look, man, he just turned 80. And here's what's funny is, you know, you know, movie magic. So you see them. There ain't no movie magic fixing that guy's face. Start, no, dude. It's not <laughs> even the face. It's the run. It's the wrinkles also. Yo, my man there's looks old. so much running in that movie. And it, if you see old dudes run, it's like, ah. And then they, I love it that they bring back all the other people from the other movies. Yeah. But you know what they are also? Old. Fuck yeah. So Everybody's now it's just, old. It's just, just a bunch of old, old people guys running. running. Yeah. It was bad. And, and this is the thing. Yeah. I, it's, this is not a Tom Cruise situation. Tom Cruise can still get it. Tom Cruise. Yeah. No. Those, those Mission Impossible trailers, dude. Look, by the way, I'm going to tell this right now. You know, minus the Scientology shit. Tom Cruise is a goat. I don't want to hear it. Bro does all of his own stunts. Who, who's arguing Tom Cruise not being a goat? Probably a lot of people. I'm because of the roles he plays. But I'm gonna say, <laughs> yo, dude, Tom Cruise goat does all of his own stunts. Is you look at his his repertoire of movies? Yo, it, he's is, a legit actor, bro. That too, and also, and my favorite point of all time, the best action runner in any suit in yeah, any movie zero ever. Doubt about that. Find me someone who runs better in a suit than Tom Cruise, dude. You can't. Let's think about these stunts that he's done recently, bro. He. Flew a, he drove a motorcycle off of a cliff with a parachute Lear on his back. Learned how to fly a helicopter. Learned how to fly a, piter, uh, a fighter pilot. Ran like, down the biggest building in the world. Ran through a dust storm in that Dude, same yo, movie. Bro, he no, he ran straight down the fucking building. He also scaled it. Remember, yeah. he climbed the outside also, of it. Also, on the same one where he learned how to fly the helicopters, he was hanging off that cliff and shit. What about the one where the AC-130 took off from the floor and he, he was, was hanging on the outside? Yeah, dude, come on. Bro, look, two best stuntmen of all time, Tom Cruise, Jackie Chan. Because Jackie Chan also does all of his own stunts. Yeah, yep. I don't know if they're the best stunt people well, because I don't know. You oh, know, right, right, right. But like as far as actors. Yeah, go. yeah. Did you ever see that Jackie Chan movie, The Foreigner? Hmm. Good movie. I really enjoyed it. And Jackie Chan, he was like an older, older dad. He's because he's getting old, right? He was probably like 65 yeah. in the movie when it came out. And the dude still does all of his own stunts. So, like, obviously, there's he lives overseas now. Something happens where he drops his daughter off to go get a dress for like homecoming or something. Uh uh, an explosion goes off. It's uh, a terrorist attack, and then it's this whole revenge plot that Jackie Chan does by himself. Playing like disguised as a plumber, just going around to find the person who set off that. Oh, oh, oh. But also like him doing his all all his own stunts. When he gets hit now, like you can see, like the wince is real. Like when he gets hurt now in the scenes, dude, he's an old guy. His but that's body what I'm must saying. be beat it's, up. It's really interesting to see to see the evolution of it. To see him from like it didn't look like it hurt to now, it's like this is real life. I miss a good martial arts movie. 
I miss yeah. it. I miss it. I miss a good Western. It Man. You seen It Man? No. IP? It Man? No. <laughs> Great martial arts. Movies. Really? When, when so, it came out? Uh, gotta be 90s or 2000s. Ip Man? Ip Man. While you're looking it up, let me just say this, everybody. Uh, this podcast is sponsored by Best Day Brewing. If you're looking for a good non-alcoholic beer, this is the best one. There's no doubt about it. Uh, this is a small, uh, independently owned brewery. This dude is a good guy. Not only is he a really good guy and he makes the product ethically and sources it well, but it is delicious. It tastes just like beer. If you miss drinking beer out of a can, Best Day Brewing, this is the way to go. Also, everybody, go to thebeautifulearthlife.com. Mm -hmm. Check out my oh, wife's uh, stuff. These, Stop. Yeah, I know. Stop itching. Yourself. These trucker hats are so comfortable and have so many cool colors. And they, she also has hoodies and sweats and um, the canteen that we drank out of last week, which I love, uh -huh. T-shirts. Everything's super good. Yeah. So check out those two things. Um, it Man is Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen's the... I fucking love Donnie Yen. So It Man, first one was 2008, and then 2010, 2015, 2018, and then 2019. It's That's five movies. All, what? All on Netflix, I'm pretty sure, also. Oh, okay. Fire. Fire. I just like that it's just old school martial arts movie, even though it's pretty new school. But Donnie Yen is fucking awesome in it. Did you see Extraction 2? I didn't even see Extraction 1. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I the one with Hemsworth? Yo, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, this is maybe controversial. Is that the one with Hemsworth? Yes. Though? Okay. Okay. He may be turning into my favorite action star ever. Don't say ever. Ever. And, and I am a huge Arnold fan. He, huge. Yeah. I am also a huge Steve McQueen fan. But Hemsworth, especially after watching his. Thing on Nat Geo. Oh, the the yo, dude. Have you watched uh, that? No, but I forget what it's called. Uh, look, man. Listen, I'm not. I'm not. And I'm sure there are a lot of dudes who secretly think the same thing. And I'm for sure not gay. And but like, if he asked me on a date, I'd say yes. Date or just go to dinner? So the same thing. Well, I mean, if if he, he was, if he even said, "Would you go on a date with me?" I'd be. I would a hundred percent go on a date with you, Chris Hemsworth. Not Liam, and not the third brother who doesn't look like he belongs. But, wouldn't you hate to be that guy? Oh, what a tough... How, what a rough life that would be. You're the third draw Hemsworth. Draw. Good Lord. And he's been on some shows and shit. He was on uh, Never seen Westworld. Him. I don't even know what he looks like. You, you, you might have looked at him and go, oh, is that him? Because even if he came on screen, you wouldn't be like, oh, that's a Hemsworth. He's I'm, short, I'm literally going to type in third Hemsworth. Dude, brother. he's short and stocky, which is not what you're expecting from a Hemsworth. But I'm going to say, like, because, look, dude. His, Rough. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Not Chris Hemsworth? Is that his name? Like, this is just a rough picture for him. To, be, to have to stand oh, yeah. in the middle you, of those two handsome fucks. Yeah, you know, the problem is you've got to take pictures by yourself. Because he's yeah. not a bad-looking guy. No, but compared in the middle of them, he looks like an eighth grader. Yeah, he looks like an athletic Sean Astin. Like, that looks like a fan taking a photo with them. Yeah. Like, that... That yeah yeah. He looks like, athletic Sean Astin is really spot on. He looks like what I thought Chunk from the Goonies would grow up to look like. Yeah, he kind of looks like he kind of looks like if Richie Rich stayed looking like Richie Rich. He looks like a guy who, who did gymnastics when he was a kid, but he's just kind of let himself go a little. I'm trying to think of other ones. <laughs> yeah, I, I can keep going. <laughs> yeah. But but in between, it looks the, like that kid Neville from iCarly. Yeah, too. I don't know. Only a couple people will get that joke. But let me let me. In between these two guys, he looks like a rock. What are you doing? Like it looks like yeah. Well, like you know what it you know what it looks like, and you know what it is. It looks like the younger brother just wanting to be a part of I, things. I think, Do you know what I'm saying? Like it looks like the younger. Yeah, is you he the oldest? He looks like he's the oldest too. I don't know if you guys can see that clear enough yeah, for those dude. watching, but I would have to take that picture on an Apple box. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's. I mean, okay, right here he's not in between them. You know what's crazy? Right here he's not in between them, and he looks so much better. He looks way less of a kid in that I, photo. I don't, I don't know what happened. Oh, here he is. Well, why can't we just get a picture of him by himself? You know? Here, here, I'll, I'll, here I'll, we go. This is the picture he should be taking. He looks like Brock Holt. Yeah, dude, this guy, he, this guy right here, that he looks like, honestly, can I be honest? 
He looks like if like Matt Damon and Stallone had a kid. He does look like he looks like Matt Damon kind of like they have the same eyebrows. Yo, if he was a porn star named Matt Damon, but he spelled Damon D A M O N E Damone, Matt Damone. He looks like Matt Damone the porn star. This are you telling me no? He does. Yeah. He looks like a, he looks like a porn star, but I feel like we could do better with Matt better than Matt. Yeah, because I don't even know what Damone is. It's oh, just, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Um, but or he, you know what else he looks like? He looks like Matt Damon if he decided to become a professional wrestler. Yeah, he kind of looks like Matt Damon and Chris Jericho. Yeah, 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 yeah. He does. That's who he looks like. Or he, you know what he looks like? He looks like Matt Damon's cousin who 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 stars on a ER show. He does look like he'd be a doctor yeah. in the ER show. Yeah, this dude. He, I, it, like, honestly, if I didn't see his body, I would. <sighs> no, I'm not gonna go with that. Here's joke. A, here's the other thing that this does for him. He doesn't. It doesn't show how tall he is. So this this is a great this is that the picture. Looks, yeah, that yeah. looks like that's the one he should be using on his dating profile, not the ones in between his two much taller and he more handsome brothers. He should never be taking pictures. Bro, with that his first brothers. one I showed you looks so different than that one. Like he, it is crazy. I mean, this is just rough. Why? They, you know, you know, they put him in the middle on purpose. I would. I would too. Now let is me he just the youngest or the oldest. I don't. I. He's the least fortunate. Hundred <laughs> percent. Let me ask you something. Pick, tell me your favorite action star, and find one that is better than. Oh, well, let me add to the list. I'm going to kick Steve McQueen off. And here's my top three action stars for me. Ready? Okay. In no particular order because I haven't thought about it enough. Yeah. yeah. Arnold. Okay. Bruce Willis. Okay. Good one. And Hemsworth. And and, and here's what they all have. They all mix. I think they're all better at comedy than Stallone, which is why Stallone gets knocked off for me. Yeah, you also can't really understand what he's saying. I, I don't mind that, but they're all better at comedy. Yeah. So that, all right. And guys like Jean-Claude Van Damme, not good at comedy. Uh, yeah, there's some other dudes, but for me, those three, I okay. think. I mean, I guess you put Matt Damon in there because he did Born. <sighs> you put Tom Cruise in there. Oh, Tom he did Cruise is in there for me. Tom Cruise is in my top three, hundred percent. I would okay. probably go because this is a different generation thing. I grew up with different action movies than you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I don't know, like, I want to put, I'm not gonna, but I want to put Christian Bale in there strictly because of the Batman movies. Yeah, but I don't he hasn't. Consider him an action star. But he hasn't done enough action movies yeah. for me to consider him an action star. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wahlberg. <sighs> yeah, you know what, Mark? Mark is hard for me not to put in there. But I'm not gonna because, well, I don't know why because, but it's hard for me not to put him in there because I love that movie Shooter. Yeah, dude. That movie Shooter, by the way, side story, I watched Shooter at 4 a.m. on Mushrooms in our in, my, in our Matillaha home while you guys were out of town one, one weekend. Yeah. And all my friends passed out and I was just sitting watching Shooter at 4 a.m. until the sun came up. Do you know I took acid and binge watched, binge watched a show called Physical because I love, I'm, I'm a super fan of this comic named Rory Scovel. No. Dude, did you way, did you we, we, did Rory, you finish Physical One Hundred by the way? Did we finish that together? No, no, we didn't. Oh my god, we gotta watch it. Okay, again. didn't you love that show? I loved it. Show was awesome. I loved it. Okay, so give me the top three. So you're going. So I'm going Tom Cruise. I'm going Mark Wahlberg. <sighs> no, I'm not going Wahlberg. I think I'd probably go Damon can, over Wahlberg. Can you put, for Born? Can you put Michael B. Jordan in there just because of oh. Creed and Black Panther? Yeah. And he also did like a Jack Ryan ish. Oh, type. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that was really good, actually. He's phenomenal. He's a great actor. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think I'd put Michael B. Jordan on there. In all honesty, I'm trying to give one to an old head. And I like watching Liam Neeson and Taken. And like he's in the A team. And like there's a lot of things he's in. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I think watching him is, is, he's not funny intentionally. But for some reason, me watching him on screen makes me laugh. I agree. Like that, that scene in Taken where it's supposed to be serious, he goes, I don't know who you are, but I have this particular set of skills. Give me your best Liam Neeson impersonation. I'll do mine afterwards. Um, you want me to go first? No, I'll go first. All right. What are we going to say? I'm going to say that line from Taken. All right. I'll try to match it. Um, okay. <clears throat> I don't know who you are, but just know I have a particular set of skills and I will find you and I will kill you. That was just me talking. Okay. Ready? Ready for this one? I don't know who you are. You sound more like Batman. Right Where's here? Rachel? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 I don't know who you are, but I have a particular set of skills and I will find you and I will close your asshole. 
What? I couldn't remember what you said. I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he would close his butthole for, but yeah. Why don't our dogs like to hang out with each other? I think your dog wants to hang out with my dog, but my dog is scared of your dog because he's just so, you're, Indy's so excited. Dude, he is psyched. He want, He's psyched. To, he's like, ooh, a little dog. And then he's like, ooh, Jacob. And I'm like, dude, dude chill his out. His whole body wax. Yeah, I'm like, dude, chill out, please, he's so we can try this. so fucking, when he sees, he's like, oh, hey, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's excited. He's like excited to see a little dog, but he's more excited to see me. That's it why was. he can't contain himself. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out how we can do this in a calm setting. Yeah. But we'll have to we'll have to figure it more out. We were supposed to do a play date tonight. We'll try it tomorrow because we're Why? going. What are we going to do tonight? Tell everybody. We're going to see uh, Burt Kreischer tonight and a bunch of others. The What's the, I, I can't. It's called the Fully Loaded Fully Tour. Fully Loaded Tour. Yeah. Right. Thank you. I'm really excited to go to this. Me too. Um, I'm taking some mushrooms. I'm driving. Did I show you the mushrooms I got? Dude, dude these things no. are massive. Can't wait. Well, I'm not doing it, but I can't wait to see them. I, I, yeah, Gr uh, bring an extra. Don't worry. I, I already planned on having two. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're because it's gonna I was be going to give one to you and one to me so we could just have one for the night. That's what we should do. Yeah. Because yeah. who knows what's going to happen with me. Right. That's why I want you to have your own thing. And then if it gets, if it gets fucked up, just, just know, like if you're, if, if it gets fucked up, bring it to me so I can fix it. So you don't like, cause you end up fucking up all the things I roll. I do. Yeah, because you don't know how to light them. And then, like, instead of just putting them down and letting them burn out, you squish it really hard. Yeah. But it's not a paper. So the paper stays together when you try to put it out. Yeah. The blunt does not. Yeah. The blunt I, comes out. I did unrolled. that again last night. So you just literally just put it down. Don't even do anything to it. If you're going to do anything to it, flick out the ember. That and just one, flick out the entire thing. That one burned so quickly last night. Were you outside in the wind? Yeah. That's why. Oh, okay. The wind, when it hits it, it's it's making it burn faster. Yeah. That's that's how that works. Okay. That's, that's why I have a place in the house where I open the window. Let's riff for a couple minutes because we're almost done. Okay. What, what, uh, on on names for the tour. But, but first, before we do that, is there one other thing you I want to do one thing. We went to the dog shelter the other day. Okay. Iman and I. Actually, that was yesterday, right? Yep. And my girlfriend, Iman, is one of the kindest people. I forget sometimes what she's been through and, and see the heart that she has. And it is... Eye opening for me. Amazing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, and so she was like, We were just at, uh, we were at the claw again. We went to the claw again the other day. And she goes, What are we going to do with all these stuffed animals again? And she, and I, she was like, uh, We'll just donate it to a shelter. And I was like, Okay, cool. And so we just, we've called a shelter. And then she goes, You know, we should also ask if they need anything else. She went and spent like probably close to $250 on food for cats, for dogs, That's for nice. puppies, got toys. She's looking at blankets and towels next. Like, she's just, she was like, yeah, I mean, like, fuck it. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. And so we went to two different shelters. We went to one shelter, but it wasn't a shelter with the dogs. It was just like their donation center. So we were kind of bummed about that. But the second place we went to, which is Nevada SPCA, um, was absolutely outstanding. And we walked in there and there's a guy named Isaiah. Isaiah, you said you listened to the podcast on the way into work. So brother, I hope you're listening to this on Thursday or Friday. Super cool. Super nice guy, super chill. And he was like, do you want to look at any of the dogs? Because we had walked around. And I go, we're not going to take one home today. But I would love to just give, get some like a serotonin boost and play with a dog who needs like some fun, right? So we took out three different dogs. First dog we took out, her name was Blue. And she, I think, was a pit mastiff mix because her paws were giant. But she was also 110 pounds. Oh my Lord. She was a unit. I was like, man, she must be big. And then she came out of the cage. I go, oh, your your owner just was overfeeding you. Like, yeah. she's a tank. She's a tank on legs. It is crazy. Uh, but I found out she'd just been put into the shelter in the last week because her owner had passed away. And then it was given to her sister. Her sister could no longer care for it. So she ended up in the shelter. Oh. Behind the cage, that little muffin just leaned against the cage, put her head against it, and just wanted to be pet. We let her, we got her outside. Bullet. She's a bullet. Like, at 110, she just needs to slim down a little bit. She's about 30 pounds Man. overweight. But so awesome. She just jumped on me and like I would just hold her on my chest and she just would stay there. The second one we looked at, her name was Perla. Another small little brown pit bull. Honestly, I almost picked her up and took her home. We went outside and I sat down and she just turned over immediately, belly up and sat in my lap and I just held her there. She was just loving and this the most adorable little thing, but and then we saw another little little uh, dachshund named Be uh, Bella Bellamy. Bellamy was her name, and she just wanted to sit in your lap. It was very cute. I don't know how 
you go. I I, I don't know go, how you go in and not leave with an animal. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna that. go start volunteering. I think. Are you? Yeah, because Isaiah, Isaiah is the eval guy, so he's the one to tell whether the dog is dog friendly or good with people or good with children or stuff like that. And um, I would love to go see how he does it and just you know have some that like once a month, twice a month, just go spend a couple hours at the shelter and just. I wonder if Big Booty Judy would, and I think that's an amazing idea, dude. And I think it's important for you to give in any way you can. I also think we should go over there and take some videos and try and get some of those dogs adopted because there, there are some little souls in there who like, yo, if somebody wants a cuddly little pit bull, single, single dog home, just wants to snuggle but also wants to go exercise, Perla is your dog. Dude, go get her. Nevada SPCA. Why? We should go blow that place up so those dogs get adopted. Okay. Oh, do you think Big Booty Judy? I don't. I think he's too jealous. I don't think I. Can. I think he's too jealous. I don't think you get another dog. Neither can we, though. Milo is just unless we can somehow figure out how Milo and Big Booty can get along. By the way, if we meet in the next in the next month, if Milo starts to like Big Booty, I'm going back and getting Perla. I'm taking her. There's not a question in my mind. I will go back and take that little girl because. She used to live in a home with a chihuahua and would protect the chihuahua from the doodle who would attack her. Yeah. So I, but the minute she got out of the cage, she barked at every other dog in the cage, every other big dog. So I don't know, like it was like, like going up to the cage and like going at it. Well, here's the thing. Uh, big booty Judy. All, my dog is Indiana Jones, but Iman nicknamed the big booty Judy. And now it. that's all we call him. But big booty Judy, um, he's not good with dogs that are bigger than him either. Right. Smaller than him. He's fine. No, yeah. he really wants to meet Milo. He yeah. just, he gets too excited. Yeah. And Milo, and I'm like, look, Milo gets a little scared. Look, I don't blame him. Milo's the size of Indy's leg. I like, <laughs> I would be worried too. So. Yeah, dude. He And and and, 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 your, my, and your Milo, little buddy was wagging his tail and then Indiana got closer and I was like, and there was, he was like, he looks bigger than me. Well, Milo corrected him with that little snap. Yeah. And then Indy kind of wanted to see him, but Milo kind of was skittish and he didn't bite him, but like he no. gave him a little, hey, 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 please, please don't, don't, don't rush me like that. So I don't know. We have to figure out how to get Indiana Jones calm. Good luck with that. CBD. We got to CBD him up and then like, good well, you, luck you with just got to bring him to my house. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. A couple quick, the European UK tour we're announcing. Um, we're going to announce it next week. Okay. I need a name by the end of day. So here's what I've been thinking. I like the good times tour with Josh and Jacob. Okay. Family time with Josh and Jacob. Although that seems a little too on the nose. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you think? To um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, look, we like we named the tour in the states, right? Like one room, two beds. Yeah. So I mean, like, I don't want to do exactly that. Campfire like, we, tour. We could do one flat, two beds, because instead of a you know room, they call it a flat. No. no. Um, because it won't be that your mom will be there, so you'll have your own room. I hope a mom will be there. Yeah, me too. Um, you don't like campfire tour. I feel like we did we did that for we changed it though. We started that this year with what it was. Yeah, gonna be and we it. just never but we never put it on the posters or anything. Right. No, you put out a couple posters with it. Yeah. Anywho. Um what do you think else? I just don't know. Two blokes and a smoke. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um smoking a pancake. Shh. By the way, your Dutch Shh, accent got a, a lot of good at get a lot of good. Shh, on a waffle? <laughs> Bong in a blitz? No. Uh, then there is no pleasing you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I got every, every, anybody who had a Dutch accent approved my Dutch accent. I agree. So, no, uh, in the comments. I, was like, I know, anybody, I saw I that. Like, yes. Um, I don't know. Like, I just keep going back to the word fun or think good times or. Because you already did it here for the fun special. Yeah. Fun, funny, funnest tour. Fun, funner, funnest. You want to do something like father son ish or esque? Like, um, father knows best tour. Parental advice. Yeah, but is it? I don't know. Is it? It's not. Um, bring your kid to work day tour. Bring your kid to work day. Or bring your kid to work tour. I don't hate that. I don't mind that. Yeah, that's a good one. Bring your kid to work. Because we can just do it. You know, you know, usually he, 
Yeah. I, I'm going to text that to somebody right now. Uh, I'm trying to think of like father son esque yeah. things. Um, instead of parental advice, fatherly advice. I don't know. Uh, um, all right, these are good ones. We'll keep, we'll we'll keep it going. We're we we're already at our hour. That one happened right. fast. You want me to do plugs? Yeah, do them. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much for uh, stopping by uh, and. You know, listening to us, we really enjoy doing these. Oh, one more thing before we get out of here. I will say just on another note, uh, as well with the purpose that I found, I you know, I used to find these when I was younger, these podcasts, um, like a drag. And we've talked about this before, him and I. Um, but, you know, I now look forward to this day and this hour each week. I go writing stuff in my phone. Like I said, that newfound purpose has really uh, given me a little bit of extra energy. Um so thank you guys for also giving me that energy because without the feedback, I don't think it would be as powerful. Um, so thank you. Um, comedian Joshua. F- Can I say this? Yep. I, it, I love the newfound sense of purpose. I wish that for everybody. It changes the way you wake up every day. Mm-hmm. And so it's super cool to see it in you. And I'm yep. really proud of you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Um, there is a ticket link at wherever you're whatever show you want to go to. If you hit tickets, it'll take you to the link for the cheapest tickets. Um, he always likes to make sure they're affordable for everybody because we know times are tough. Um, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Uh, go to the YouTube page. Um, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok. Um, if you're listening, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're listening on iTunes, hit the hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a review, leave a rating. We really appreciate you guys. Email. If you're Through on YouTube. Oh yeah, and the email. Hey man pod at gmail.com, three A's in man. Um, email us your questions. Let us know uh, anything you want to know. We will make sure we try to answer it. Um, and also, if you're watching on YouTube again, hit that little bell for notifications when we post or we go live or anything like that. Um, Des Moines, Iowa, you are fuck next. Yeah. Uh, Brunswick, New Jersey, you are the week after that. Um, fuck yeah. By the way, that uh, the Tampa was amazing. Tampa, look, Tampa Saturday. You guys have my heart for the weekend. Thank you so much. Fuck it. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. awesome. Show, uh, the shrooms, I think I can up my game. Well, we actually waited this time. Yeah. So we know, we can now know what you're actually doing instead of I, ballparking. I think I can jump up to three grams. I think you can too. Des Moines. We'll you find be, out. Des Moines Friday night. I hope you guys come to find out. Thank you all so much. We love you guys. And hey, do something good for someone today. All right. We'll talk to y'all later. Love Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here.